Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one is going to be a quick hit. You know, I want to make it short. But more importantly, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to those that are of the whole four light. All right, now we're in the book of Psalms, chapter 149, verse 1. And you see here in bold print, Israel exhorted to praise the Lord. All right, it said Israel, not the whole world. Okay, because this is a future prophecy. This is in the kingdom. This is after Esau finished his dirty work. Okay, which is forcing vaccines, forcing chips, open up concentration camps and killing two thirds of the Lord's people. All right, having his way in wickedness. After he does these things and after he fulfills prophecy, okay, which is, you know, ultimately after this force of the chip and they go into this world's war, Yahweh Shai is going to crack those clouds, man. All right coming from the east headed to the west and they're going to fight the Lord Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai is going to destroy them okay he's going to snatch the crowns of these heathens and he's going to redeem the elect okay from being destroyed from the most high Yahweh's wrath which is coming upon this world all right so we're going to exhort Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai as a nation as being what Israel and Hebrew that's Yasha Allah. He, Prince Power. All right. Meaning we're the princes of the Most High. We're the princes of the ultimate power. Okay. And that's starting with the men. Remember, the Lord said in Revelations that his tabernacle was with men. All right. So the Lord deals with order. Okay. The Lord deals with men. And the men are to be the head of the house. Okay. Yahweh Shai is the head of the church, head of the body. And the Most High is headed over Yahweh Shai. So. You know, it starts with men and the women, they fall in line in the families, okay, under the, under that household. So anyway, it says ex uh, Israel exhorted to praise the Lord. And it's going to be a beautiful time, man, a beautiful time, okay? This is going to be wonderful, singing with joy, praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for delivering us, all right, and recovering us, you know, from the hands of the wicked, all right? We don't belong to Esau Edom. We belong to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And what Esau Edom is doing is, is striving to permanently make us his slaves forever. And that ain't how this movie go, okay? That ain't how the script go, all right? He wants to re erase history and control the future. And you're just a man. So anyway, let's read, right? This is Psalms 149 and 1. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh and sing unto the Lord a new song. It says, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Now, that word saint, first off, it says praise in the congregation of saints. The saints are the Israelites. Now, today, they got this, this term called new speak, where they play on words and change the meaning of it. You know, just like they made all these different sorts of new Bibles, the new King James Version, the NIV, new translation, whatever, you know. But the word saint is always referred to Israelites, okay? Even when you read certain documents dealing with history, you know, and I'll pull up. Matter of fact, let me get it. Um, let me see here. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, 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 because... All right, Constantine the Great. It says, also known as Constantine the First or Saint Constantine. And why it says Saint? Because he was an Israelite. It says, was a Roman Empire from 306 to 337 AD. Constantine was the son of Flavius Valerius Constantinus, if I'm saying that right, a Roman army officer and his, cons his consort, uh, he, he, he Lena Wikipedia right so that's Constantine Constantine was a wicked Israelite that worshipped the sun and idols 
okay? You know, that's just in my notes dealing with Constantine, right? So let me get another one in my John the Baptist topic. Okay, uh, Ephesians 1 and uh, 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by the will of the Most High, to the saints which are at Ephesians, and to the faithful in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So showing you again that word saint is the Israelite because Paul is writing to the Israelites here at the church of Ephesians. Okay. And it says to the faithful in Yahweh Shai Mashiach because what was Paul's job? To be the light to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The Israelite foreigners. All right. Israelite foreigners were Israelites who took on the customs and the ways of the heathens. Whatever land they was in, they took upon that heathen's custom and, and, and language, all right, and identity, and called themselves after their names. But instead, by seed of their father, they were Israelites. And let me get this out the way, all right? This is not a, a black and white thing, you know, you know, it's not a color thing, but even though color is an indicator, but this is not a color thing, okay? You're an Israelite from the seed of your father. You could be black white brown orange purple it doesn't matter if your father's line go back to being one of the israelites you're an israelite okay so let me get one more uh let's see here cornelius was an israelite because here at great millstone we understand through the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shah and faith we understand that cornelius was an israelite all right there were israelites in italy now, this is a quick precept. This is Hebrews 13, 24. Salute all them that have the rule over you and all the saints, all right? They of Italy salute you, okay? I'll get one more. Uh, let's see here. All ways to pray. Okay, this is uh, Romans 8 and 27. And he that search of the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit. That's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. You no, know, just proving that the saints are the Israelites. All right? A saint is not someone that just helped others. The saint was referred to being the Hebrew Israelites, which even getting back into Psalms 149 is going to even tell you that. All right? When we get down toward the last few verses. Now, Psalms 149 and 2, it says, Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Okay? You know, ultimately, Yahweh's the most high, he's a king. Yahweh Shai is a king, but also King David is gonna be a king over the over the Israelites as well. Alright? But it says, Let Israel rejoice in him that made him, and let the children of Zion, okay, be joyful in their king. Now Zion is another name for Israel. So it's not talking about everybody in the world. This is the kingdom. This is a kingdom prophecy here, man. It says, verse three: Let them praise his name in a dance. What's his name? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, Let them sing praises unto him with the timbre and the harp, because Israel is gonna be playing music. All right, it's already in Jake's spirit to play music, man. You know, going into Judah. Judah in the Hebrew is Yahweh, which means Yahweh praise. This is why the, the Judites, all right, the so-called Negroes, you know, are always dancing and, and always uh, got that soul, you know, of singing and dancing, all right? But this time in the kingdom, we're going to be dancing and singing righteously, man, okay? Giving all honor and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're going to be singing songs, going to be live bands, all right? Hey, Jake going to be getting down. It says, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Notice it said his people, <laughs> not the whole world. All right. Who is the Lord's people? The Israelites. All right. For the Lord, Yahweh, taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. So he's going to beautify the humble with salvation. Who are the humble? The elect. All right. It says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. You know, when we go to sleep at night, we're going to be joyful. When we wake up in the morning, we're going to be joyful. You know, Jake, you know, hey, your woman and shit, you know, Jake, you know, the uh, Israelite woman, 
she be blowing it down. You know, you fuck around and you know, you wake up to your woman blowing it down. You know, like, oh shit, waking up to a party. <laughs> you know, you just gotta imagine these things, man, because it's gonna happen, man. All right, this is our faith, man. This is what we're banking on. And this is a prophecy too, all right? This have not happened yet, vocab. <laughs> you know, since she want to contest everything and try to debunk that we're Israelites. Meanwhile, prophecies happen that the Bible sp spoke of. Stupid. Verse 6. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Do you know what a two-edged sword is? All right, let's look at a two-edged sword, man. Why are we gonna have a two-edged sword? What is a two-edged sword? A double-edged, double-edged. All right, let me go to images. Double-edged, look at that. A double-edged sword in our hand, all right? This is not symbolic, this is literal. This is literal, it's not symbolic, man. Yahweh Shai is gonna have a two-edged sword when he returns. okay? Look at that sword, let's see. Uh, a two-edged sword man okay so let's get back it says to execute this is why the two-edged sword is going to be in our hands all right in the men hands not the women but the men it says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron you see that that means that the you heathens going to go into slavery. You're going to go into slavery. We're in slavery. Isn't, isn't the so-called blacks and Latinos in slavery right now? The so-called native and Seminole Indians, isn't we under slavery? Shit, Esau's so wicked, he done enslaved his own goddamn people. All right? Don't all of us have a birth certificate and a social security card? When, 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 when was we actually free? If we were free, then we would have our own land. We will have our own customs and our own ways, our own money, our own army. We don't have none of that, okay? So just as well as we went into slavery, you Edomites and you other nations gonna go into slavery. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains, okay? And their nobles with feathers of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints. See, his the Israelites, man. Even the uh, low-level Israelites, the two-thirds that come back through the through the elect and raised back up, and they're gonna be raised back up in righteousness. All they're gonna know is righteousness. Then, even they're gonna have slaves. Okay, all Israel is gonna be good, man. All right. It says to execute upon them the judgment written see because this is the judgment that is written beforehand remember uh uh the prophecies were written um was was written before uh excuse me um this truth was written from the very beginning man all right the end was spoken from the very beginning so it says to execute upon them the judgment written this honor because it's going to be an honor that's why this is a beautiful time to be an israelite all right and it's the worst time to be an Edomite. It says, this honor have all his saints, all his Israelites. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, and I want to get one more precept, and it's supposed to be a quick hit, so I'm going to wrap it up with this. Uh, what was it again? Fuck it. What was it? Uh, damn, what was it? Okay, yeah, I done lost my train of thought. So, I, I believe, yeah, Isaiah uh, 60 and verse Right, yeah, this is Psalms chapter 60. And uh let's see. I start I start at nine. No, I start at ten. 
I'll get straight to the point. Uh, so, uh, Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Okay, who are the strangers? Those heathens, right? And their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thou gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. And that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, which are the other nations, and their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come upon thee come unto thee and the fir tree and the pine tree and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary and I will make the place of my feet glorious all right so we're gonna have continually open employment okay you know employment goes into slave so we're gonna have our gates open continually and what's gonna happen they're gonna be bringing in what the forces of the Gentiles that their kings may be brought, all right? So after this destruction, and the Lord give brothers those powers and them new bodies, you know, we're gonna have to clean the earth and build Israel back up. And who's gonna build Israel? You heathens, you're gonna build it for the elect. You're gonna build it, let me say, for the Israelites. Okay, starting with the elect, you know? So that's my quick hit. I hope this lesson was edifying, all right? Remember to keep praying and putting those praises up to the Lord. All right, keep exhorting the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Because uh, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, we're saved, okay? Uh, at the end of the day, you know, Esau don't have any power except for the power that the Lord gave him, okay? Israel exhorted, exhorted to praise the Lord. And eventually as a nation, we're going to do that, man. So like I said, that was my quick hit. I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakat Kudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.